How's it going ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ruffle Rowlett and welcome back to a brand new video guys. Today we're going to be talking about different things. Now you may see, you might think I'm tired, uh, not really. I mean my eyes are always like totally closed, like that's just crazy, but uh, I'm actually not that tired. I've actually slept for several hours. I think I overslept and that's the problem as to why I feel more like lost at the moment. And also I look like freaking Einstein with this hair, man. I really get, get a haircut. But ladies and gentlemen, we apparently have some news. This is coming from Pokey Jungle as well as also a bit of a different thing here coming from Melkor who runs Pokey Experto. So I thought we'd take a look at this, see what it's all about and see what the deal is. Um, and ladies and gentlemen, I also might be doing a stream today What I want to talk about, like, a few things. I might do a stream, not guaranteed. I may just do that. But yeah, let's get into the actual stuff though, shall we? So here's the first thing, guys. It was posted by PokeJungle saying, We think there's a big Sword and Shield uh, news coming soon. We did some detective work to pin down when that may be. Read for yourself and decide whether or uh, whether our case has merit. We think it does. We can feel it in our jellies. Um, and they're saying it's going to happen. And we'll, we'll you know, say, they, say, they say they think it's going to happen on the May 14th info drop. Now, here's the thing. The basis for their, for their like, reasoning, the basis for their reasoning is that previously in Pokemon merchandising, sorry, not merchandising, but previously in Pokemon, like, promotional cycles, Things have usually happened around this time frame, um, which is a fair point to make. It's a fair assessment. It's not wrong. But here's the thing, though. And, dude, my hair is literally messy. Um, but, like, here's the thing, though, that's an issue with that, like, assumption is that we've already seen that they aren't following the same pattern of promotional cycles as they've done with the previous years. So, sure, like, last time around with Sun and Moon, there was something in May. Um, and back in, uh, you know, 2013, 2014, whenever X and Y came out, I can't actually remember. 20, 2013, yeah. Um, you had also back then, um, you know, around May, big news, right? So, it, with that assumption, it should make sense. But it's never guaranteed, which is the big point. Also, I'm going to turn off my phone so you guys don't feel like you're getting... Uh, your day ruined. Either way, so let's jump over to the actual article, which is, you know, starting up here. Uh, so, here's where we go from, which is Pokemon Sword and Shield news coming soon. Uh, with no new uh, Sword and Shield information since it was revealed, fans are understandably ready to hear more about the two Nintendo Switch titles. While we have some exciting uh, slothing, slu wait, sleuthing? Uh, to talk about, indeed, man. Talk about today. I'd like to first remind everyone that we recommend keeping expectations reasonable and not to treat this speculation as fact, which is true. So, we work with one of our Discord moderates, uh, Chaos uh, underscore 1x, to look for clues from past Pokemon generations to see if we could predict a likely date for an information reveal this month. That reveal might just uh, come on May 14th. It might seem like an arbitrary date, but if Generation um, 8 follows a similar schedule to Generation 6 and Generation 7, it seems likely Pokemon X and Y got their second trailer on May 14th, and Sun and Moon's debut trailer uh, debu debuted on May 10th. Um, the correlating factor is that the dates happen to be on the same, uh, same well, on, to be the second Tuesday of May. In 2019, the second Tuesday will fall again fall on May 14th. Uh, so we will eagerly be waiting to see if a Pokemon Sword and Shield will get more information revealed this week. We certainly hope so. Don't forget that we already uh, speculated on what may be revealed. Leave us comments whether you think it's uh, this is a coincidence or you just think this theory may hold weight. We'd also love to, you know for them to join for you to join their discord which you guys can do i'll be linking this down below by the way this uh discord if you or their discord but i mean their their post here i'll be linking it down below if you guys want to check it out but um i want to point something out here right yeah sure like there there seems to be a correlation and that makes sense if in the past like years we we had you know with past generations in like well like they mentioned here generation uh six we had an actual reveal on may the 14th in generation Seven, we had a reveal on May the 10th, and both those ended up on right here on the Tuesday, uh, which this time around is going to be the 14th of Tuesday. It's going to be again, you know, May 14th is going to be a Tuesday. So it's going to be quite interesting to see how that's going to pan out and if this is going to be happening. Because I personally have already talked about patterns, because you guys already remember I talked about what Melkor said, because Melkor actually went through this pretty intensely and talked about this in a different manner, uh, mentioning how, like, you know, there's so many seemingly connections existing and all that sort of stuff. Um, but, like, when I looked into it and, like, we, we looked at it, we were like, oh, but if this makes sense, then we should see at least something in this time frame and then nothing happened. And then maybe in this time frame. But do remember, though, I did point out a long time ago that April was never guaranteed to have any news because it's so early and so close to, you know, um, 
the uh, the announcement, uh, which was late February, right? It's like it's like what? It's like a two month hiatus in between there, which is what they often do. There's even like a post by Joe Merrick where he literally points out exactly what the you know the time frame was between each each game's like reveal or announcement, and then the next piece of information or trailer, which was, I think, Diamond and Pearl was almost a year or something, which it was a long time, basically. I'm not, I don't know the exact time frame, but it was a long, long, long time. Um, so it's quite intriguing, I will say. But uh, yeah, so as for that, I'm a little bit torn. I'm not exactly sure where to put things, but I will say that it is, uh, it's it's quite interesting. It is it is quite, quite interesting, ladies and gentlemen. So yeah, um, I don't know what else to say about that. I think that's just about the general gist, though. But the next thing here, though, is from Melkor. So Melkor tweeted out saying, The first details of the magazine Koro Koro begin to be coming to light. For now, uh, for now, uh, no pictures, so you can't confirm. Um, and he posted this, and I'm not sure if there's been any more, like, uh, you know, information here shared. I mean, people, I guess somebody here asked a question saying, you know, maybe I said the old shooter, the shooter dresses Muru, that's the scoop, uh, which sounds very, very boring. It just doesn't sound like, you know, very intriguing. Uh, and I can't really see any, any other posts here from him, except the thing we talked about yesterday, which is the Pokemon Go app connection. There's really not much else than that from him here uh, in general terms. So in terms of that sort of stuff, there's really not much there, but there is one more thing that was sent to me by viewers that they wanted me to cover, which I think I left right around. I'm just trying to find the exact thing because it was it was basically like it's been a, it's been a while now since it popped up in my or actually it was like last night yesterday sometime yesterday it popped up in my um, kind of vicinity and people wanted me to cover it, but I never got down to it, so I thought I'd do it today because I might as well. So we're gonna just pop it over here to the right screen to make sure we're on the right monitor. So here we go, boom, took out like a boom boom. We now have the thing popping up on the screen. So here we go. So this was sent to me by a bunch of, you know, by different viewers saying, like, hey, check this out. It looks interesting. Tell us what you think. Uh, and I checked it out. And here's the thing, right? It looks very reminiscent. Uh, this was something that was emailed to me by Summer Sakura. So shout out Summer Sakura. Uh, who emailed this first to me, like, early, early in the morning yesterday. Um, but uh, here's what the deal is, though. This one seems to connect to the Apple thing. Uh, and you guys may remember the apple because I covered the apple, uh, which is this one right here, down here. It like uh, it very much looks alike here, like they're supposed to match into each other. See, like they're supposed to be like uh, kind of mirrored over the uh, over the kind of map, and they're supposed to match up together, which they they really do. Uh, so they're made by the same person, but I still will say these are fake. Uh, I think these are fake because, one again, they're using the same imagery, right? Up here, the same imagery. Down here, the same imagery as we've seen before. Second thing, this face down here looks like a Wobbuffet. I've already said this, but the apple looks like a Wobbuffet. It just doesn't look like a brand new Pokemon. As with the pinata looking Pokemon, like the pinata thing up there, um, it just doesn't look realistic enough um, to begin with. It just doesn't. I just can't look at it in a certain way, like in a, in a way of like thinking that it's real. I just can't. Because, like, just be, the fact that they're connected to each other and that they're basically from the same, like, person just makes me think this is equally as fake. And, of course, the design itself doesn't really look too realistic. Like, the shading on it is kind of, like, different from normal Pokemon stuff. Uh, just overall, it feels like this is definitely fake, ladies and gentlemen. Because, I mean, people have made, like, fakes like these before. It's not hard to make these sort of fakes. It's not hard for them to make these sort of fakes. And also, if we look at, like, the, uh, the way they kind of mirror the logos over here, uh, cause they don't include the logos, like, you see, like, the logos up here. If the logo is right there, how is it actually gonna be visible over the thing? Um, if it's just gonna be, like, blue in the background. It seems a little bit weird if they're gonna have it like that. But, I mean, who am I to say again? I don't know, man. I don't know. It's, um, it's hard to boil any of this down. But I will say this is definitely fake. Personally, that's what I think. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else from Melkor. I don't know if uh, viewers are sending me anything. No. Uh, for now. So I think that's just about it, though. Uh, but yeah, so quick heads up on this one, though. Uh, guys, like, don't assume now this because this this speculation. Even, like, the, like what PokeJungle says here is, like, don't assume just because <laughs> this speculation exists now that it's guaranteed we're going to get any news. Because Pokemon is a very hit or miss franchise, you know what I mean? Like, uh, you can never understand exactly what they're doing, or you can never predict the choices that the Pokemon company will make when it comes to promotion. Uh, also do remember that we have, this year, Detective Pikachu is out in this month. It's out right now, right? Detective Pikachu is out right now, which means that Detective Pikachu is going to be causing a lot of turmoil within the, you know, uh, promotional cycle for the company, right? It's going to be like, oh, cr you know, Craparino, we got to take care of, you know, Detective Pikachu promotion, and but are we, do we really want to mess with Detective Pikachu promotion and, you know, promote Pokemon? on at the same time, or do we just want to wait until E3 when it makes more sense and Detective Pikachu is kind of done with its, like, you know, cycle of promotion and we don't need to promote it anymore because it's kind of done? Like, what do we do? Like, what's the better choice to go for? And I think that, logically speaking, news popping up in May, uh, still possible. May 14th, not guaranteed, but 
could happen, especially with the amount of stuff that's been popping up right now with like the Pokemon uh, Pokemon Go app connection thing happening in uh, seemingly happening in Pokemon Go with the latest update. It could be that the next trailer could actually announce to us like, oh, there's going to be Pokemon Go connection in Pokemon Sword and Shield uh, and blah, 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 blah. And, you know, that sort of stuff. So if that ends up happening, then we also know the code names for Pokemon Sword and Shield, which are Pokemon Koala, which is uh, kind of interesting. You know, last time it was Beluga, this time it's Koala. Might be interesting. So, yeah, um, general terms, though, I'm kind of excited for this. Uh, I do want to see what's going to happen if there is anything that's going to happen on the 14th, which is two days from now, on Tuesday. And, uh, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, if you guys did enjoy the video, drop a like down below. Feel free to subscribe. And before we leave, guys, I want to quickly just give a big thank you to you guys for the support in the last few videos. It's been appreciated. Uh, these some of, I've been trying to make some of these more different videos as well lately. Uh, I haven't made one in a while now because the last few days have just been a lot of rumors and stuff popping up. Um, but I was working on a few really, like, you know, slightly more different videos, which I've been having actually genuinely more fun with than I've had with videos in a long, long time. Uh, as you may know, like, doing rumors every day gets a little bit repetitive when there isn't anything, like, grand new. You may notice I'm not covering many of those, like, list rumors. I'm just ignoring them and more looking for the interesting stuff, which currently is the new stuff that's popping up like this, and it's, this is far more interesting, as well as some of the new stuff that's popping up. Um, far more interesting to cover than just pure rumors, which can be, you know, a little bit boring when it's the repetitive kind. Um, but I hope you guys are fine with that, and I hope you guys are fine with the new videos, because I'm trying out a few more of them. I haven't made a new one in like two days now like a kind of a different video in two days but i will have a new one probably out later today unless i decide to stream but i will see what goes you know what, what seems to make more sense to me uh, scheduling wise and what makes more sense in terms of uh you know what i want to kind of do that's more interesting so yeah ladies and gentlemen thanks so much for watching though i'll see you all the next one have a great day and bye bye ladies and gentlemen peace